you creatives, I'm Rita Berica and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're just checking this out for the first time, I am so happy you were here and I would be um, super happy if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. Today is a little bit different than I normally do. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is checking my paint colors to see how they look together because I want to repaint this pair of shoes that I have. So I wanted to do this shoe makeover and because I have these um, really cute shoes and I bought them in this um, light tan color thinking, oh, it's a neutral, it'll go with everything. And then I wear them like with absolutely nothing. And I've had them over a couple years and I probably have worn them less than five times. So I figured if I paint them colors that I really, really love, then maybe I'll wear them more, right? So why not? I have the acrylics, the shoes are in my closet already. So I might as well go ahead and go for it. So I'm taking these acrylic paints and I'm putting them on the paper just to kind of see, you know, what kind of colors would go together because these shoes have like really cool sections. So I figured I can take um, a different color in each section as long as they complement each other. So I'm doing um, blues, greens, purples, and just kind of seeing which colors would be pretty next to each other, which is why I did it on this palette. So you can see the shoe here and you can see it's kind of funky and it has um, nice little details that will lend itself really well to color and paint. Now I have painted shoes before and I've even tried the official um, like paint that's made for leather and I found that it was really, um, it took a really long time to dry, like literally days. Um, and it didn't hold up better than acrylic paint. And so this um, particular shoe is not super shiny or super slick. It has kind of a matte finish to it. So I knew that it would take the paint really well and it did. Now the first one that I'm painting on the back of the heel right now is that actually a color shift from plaid and actually all the paints are from plaid um, but the color shift came out so cool on these shoes because of course you know it has rounded edges it has um, also straight lines but it has this color shift so you see kind of a purpley blue depending on which way the light is hitting it so it turned out really cool on the shoe now I did I did go and try to do um, a couple of coats on each one. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the one color on the one shoe and then going to the other shoe, you know, allowing the first shoe to dry while I'm working on the next one because acrylic does dry pretty quickly. So if you're doing this and you wanna do your own shoes and you don't have a steady hand, I would suggest to you that you might want to tape off the edges of the shoe, like where the heel is. Um, so that the paint doesn't get there. But I've done this several times, so I have a pretty steady hand and I was feeling really good about this on this day and I was just so excited to get this done. So I didn't tape it off or anything, but I knew that I wouldn't have a big issue. But if that's an issue for you, make sure you tape those off. The first thing too is to take out those shoelaces because they will get in your way. So I'm just putting the different colors um, and trying not to paint something that's right next to each other, if that makes sense, just to give it a chance to dry and making sure that I have super clean lines and that it looks good. The other thing is going back and forth between the two shoes also made it easier for me to lay the shoe down on its side when I was painting um, another side. And then I, what, I didn't have to worry about, oh, is the paint gonna come off? Um, am I gonna miss up the paint job on the other side? So going back and forth with the two shoes worked out really well. I would also make sure that your shoe is very, very clean. Now, like I said, I hardly wore these shoes at all. So they were, they look like new still, um, just because. So if your shoe is older and it is dirty, make sure that you clean it and you dry it really well before you start painting. I'm using an angled brush and then I do sometimes have to go in with a smaller brush to get some of the um, tiny areas that the bigger brush, but the angle brush worked really well. And luckily this shoe had very clean lines.
I am so super excited about the way that these shoes turned out and I even went as far as to uh, paint the shoelaces. Now the shoelaces are pretty stiff because I painted them and it is acrylic paint, but I think it'll wear up, uh, it'll ease up over time. And I hope you will try this if there's a pair of shoes that you don't particularly wear or love. Um, give them a paint makeover. I think that you will love it and I am so excited to wear these shoes and find different outfits for them. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.